Hi, I'm Kevin Sitka, President and CEO of Assiniboine Credit Union. ACU's commitment to Indigenous communities dates back many years. And building upon that foundation, in 2016, ACU made a commitment to engage fully and meaningfully in reconciliation at a national reconciliation gathering here in Winnipeg. And ACU was honoured and pleased to be a founding signatory to the Winnipeg Indigenous Accord on June 20th, 2017. Being an Accord signatory brings ACU together with other like-minded organizations committed to reconciliation, providing us with the opportunity to learn from their efforts and experiences and to share our journey with them. Hi, my name is Kirsten Wicki and I'm a Financial Service Advisor at Assiniboine Credit Union. I am on something called the Indigenous Leadership Circle at, here at Assiniboine. So it was, it's employee-led, employee-driven, and it's a circle made up of employees who identify as Indigenous to Turtle Island. We create, we organize, we manage, and we attend events for all of our employees here at Assiniboine. We've done a number of things. So we've gone out into the community, we've gone to Manitoba Museum and did a treaty tour. We've gone to the Human Rights Museum and done the Mikinakea tour. Um, I've taken personally a lot of employees out to the Bear Clan patrol walks. You know, those little important events that those individual employees have experienced and have been impactful for them, I think those are the most important because they're going out and talking to, you know, five other employees in their department and those employees are talking to other employees and they're talking to their kids and they're talking to their friends and we're seeing what we originally thought was going to be impactful between Indigenous and non-Indigenous employees at Assiniboine, we're seeing it kind of ripple out into the community, so that's really great. I suspect that if you haven't yet signed the Accord, you haven't yet sat with the truth. Really hearing the truth from survivors, families, communities, and anyone personally affected by the Indian Residential School experience, reading the calls to action that came from that truth, and asking, do I belong in this call? Does my organization belong in this call? We need to be the change that we seek, every one of us, as individuals and as organizations. Start small, but just do something, right? Whether it's, I mean, the first event that our Indigenous Leadership Circle held here was what we called a Feast to Teach. And we kind of, it was a, a jump off of your lunch and learns that we have. And we said, well, this is different. It's not a lunch and learn, it's, it's something different. We want to sit down, we want to bring someone in, we want to, you know, we want to have food with them, we want it to be a very, a very authentic experience. I think to this day, probably still the most talked about and the most impactful thing. So I would say if you're going to start somewhere, start small, but just, just do something, do anything. Reach out to an elder in your community, reach out to a knowledge keeper, and just have them come in and sit in a circle and just talk to your employees, I think is, the, is a great first step. We want our members and potential members to know they can hold us accountable to the TRC calls to action and our partners to know that we aim to build the same community as they do. Signing the accord says so much about who we are and what we're committed to.